Live streaming of this show available via Roku streaming devices, Apple TV, Smart TVs, Amazon Echo, and many other devices. Visit TuneIn.AlphaGeekRadio.com to learn how to listen and watch live. Oh. I thought, I thought we were testing. I'm ready. I did all the testing before. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm ready. So, everyone that was here, did y'all hear her say she was ready? Did I say I was ready? You you did say okay. you were ready. Well, I'm ready, ready. Like, for real ready. I promise. All right. Let's try this again. Live streaming of this show available via Roku streaming devices, Apple TV, Smart TVs, Amazon Echo, and many other devices. Visit TuneIn.AlphaGeekRadio.com to learn how to listen and watch live. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your spin-down couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is April 11th, 2016. And this is episode 197. You guys have no idea that within 15 to 20 seconds, we went from episode 196 to 197. <laughs> I was like, boom, we were going, I was like, we're four away from a th- um, from 200. Then I looked again, it was like magic before my eyes. Like I felt like I was in the TARDIS. Like I was with the doctor and the doctor was a black female and her name was Renee. Who just changed the episode number. (laughs) Who knew I could wield such power? That is uh, wonderful, babe. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, this is, uh, my name is Jay and my lovely wife Renee here and this is our show, Valentine Cast, where we're a couple of Louisvillians. Villains. Louisvillains? Louis. You know, I've never heard that phrase in my entire life of living here. What, Louisvillian? No, Louisvillain. Well, that would villain. be so awesome. Like, like like a cheesy comic book villain. So here's the thing. I'm the Louisvillain. I, 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 or. Mal, Mal yeah. and I were talking about this. Mal and, and I were talking about this yesterday about what do we call Louisvillain? People that live in Louisville. Yeah. Is it Louis Louisville um Louisville Knights or Louisvillians? You could just ask me, I would have told you. We were looking at it, was I was like, ooh, we're Louisvillians. And I was like, villains. And, oh, we, and, you we, bo- that? and we both were like, villains. Yes. We're Louisvillians. Yeah, that's what we we had to change our address. We're Louisvillians. Had to change our address. It's funny. Louis- we say Louisvillians, but we say Louisville. So, people actually enunciate Louisvillians. Yeah. So. Because I guess you can say Louisvillians. 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 That sounds. Louisvillians. Yeah. So, everybody enunciates. Yeah. Uh, yeah. my work laptop. Shut up. Anyway. But, yeah. <laughs> so, we, we, we are here. And we're glad you're here with us. Um, babe, who do we have with us today in the Valentine Tavern? In the Valentine Tavern. Fox Lore is here from across the water. No, across the waters? What is this? Across, across the pond. The, you can say across the way. Across the pond is England. No, oh, I don't know what. Other side of the beach. Other side of the... Other side of the beach. <laughs> Other side of the beach. Is uh, it kind of bad that we call the Atlanta the pond and call Pacific Ocean the beach? I don't... Maybe? That's because it's um, Hawaii over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we're, we're going to stick with that. How about that? Hendo is here. Hey, Hendo. What's going on, Hendo? Thank you, for sir, for letting me know about the static. And I had to make some some reconnections. J to the gig K Grammar is here. JK! Uh, Muhogan and Zabi are in the house. 
What is going on, Zobby and, and Hogan? And uh, VCast three five zero one six. Hi, how are you? What is going on, VCast three five zero one six? I did post this in the in the tab pool. Yep. That we're gonna be recording so folks come and check us out. And we also tweet it out early, so if you guys should retweet those and share them and let folks know, maybe, maybe somebody may show up and be like, "Oh man, Renee is such an inspiration. Jay is such an asshole." Inspiration? What? For what? I don't know. That y'all don't know. And pardon my yawns for those who who are looking at video. Um, our lovely daughters woke me up at four forty in the morning, so this is what you get. Right. What's the face? So that was nice. So you guys got to see that. She didn't get to see it. She's gonna have to go back and watch it. No, I saw the face. Oh, you didn't see what was before the face though. What was before the face? But anyway, what it is now time to do. It is time, babe. We 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 weekend wrap up. That's how you people say it, right? Oh man, is the continuation. (laughs) <laughs> of the debacle. I love this. This is like a soap opera. Toys R Us versus JJ Valentine. In a so, head-to-head match Friday night. Uh, in a head-to-head match. Uh, and, pay, uh, pay-per-view. Mm, mm, mm. We are still going round and round. So let me tell you the last thing. And one I'm going to say, I want to ask everyone that I'm sorry that for my um, me cussing, um, dropping a few F-bombs um, during the storytelling. Um, and I didn't give anyone a fair warning. I probably should have edited that just in case some kids were listening to it and stuff like that. So I can be like, hey, for the next five minutes, don't let your kids listen because I get a little irritated. So <laughs> so after that show, they, I can't even remember. Okay, so after that show, let's just say, no, no, um, yeah, wait a minute, let me think. Man, this is just been going on so long. Okay, so after that show, they called me, and the piece didn't come. Wait a minute, no, it didn't come month. It didn't come to Wednesday after the show, which was on the twenty eighth. But then on the thirtieth, um, well, no, yeah, the show was on twenty eighth. The thirtieth, they called and said it didn't show up. <laughs> they said, but it will be here. They assured us it will be here on Friday, and Friday was April Fool's Day. So you know, I was like, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Um, so I called Friday during the day. No, actually they called me. No, I called them. And they was like, oh, Mr. Valentine, I was getting ready to call you. We have both pieces here. And I said, oh my God, Vicky, look at her butt. <laughs> it is so big. I was so excited. I was like, woo, our I girls like, get to play on a play set soon. I was like, that shit life. is here. It is here. So this was like. 12 o'clock, 11 30, 12 o'clock, and everything. I was like, cool, cool. I'll be by later today. We can do. At this time, they're going to give me 50% off. Yeah. You know, uh, of the play set. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, we'll come in and we'll take care of all that. So Renee goes and to pick up our girls. And I tell her, I say, just stay over at mom and dad's. I'm going to come over there. And then from there, we can, you know, we can go pick up the play set. So I go over to mom and dad's and we're sitting there for a little bit and everything. And all of a sudden, my phone rings. And I was like, what? This is Toys R Us. Maybe they're, they're checking to see when I'm going to come in. Right. <laughs> that, yeah, just, just to make sure that, you know. So I picked up, hello. They're like, can we speak to Jerry Valentine, please? I was like, this is Jerry. She's like, Jerry, this is Laurel from <laughs> Toys R Us. I was like, oh, hey, Laurel. I was about to come down there. <laughs> you sounded so happy. I did. And she was like, well, I have some bad news. And I heard you say. I said, hold on for a second. What did you say? You said something. Because it, it made me look at you. She's, I said, I hope you're not messing with me because it's April Fool's Day or something. I, I don't know. I can't remember what I said. I think I was in like this un this 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 shock, this shock of of I just didn't know. It was just it just blew my mind, and I was like, um, so she was like, well, the piece that we had that we were not waiting for showed up. Well, that we were not waiting for is no longer here, and I was like, 
Oh, I said, you have got to be kidding me. That's what it was. And I was like, I knew it was bad. I said, you I have got to be kidding me. And she was like, no. She was like, it was on the truck. It was on the trailer. They came and got the trailer and they left. And I was like, can you hold on for a second? Because I was there and your mom started asking questions. You was like, what's going on? Yeah. And everybody was like, what? Because everyone knows about this whole debacle. It's it's it's, it's just weird. Right. Like, I would think it was fake if, you know. Okay, I, I got to So, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is so, never ending. It's never going to end. So she was like, she was like, well, Mr. Valentine's. I called a few other stores. I told them what happened. No one has it close by. We're trying to get the truck to turn around and come back. <laughs> because not only did not only did did they have our playset. Not only did they have our playset, but they had all of their display furniture. So apparently, this is the first time the store actually made a mistake. Um, they had been storing because they didn't have enough room in the back. They were storing some stuff on the trailer, <laughs> and the trailer came, and the trailer got the stuff. You know, just got the trailer and, and pulled off because that's what happens sometimes. Truckers come in, yeah. they're supposed to pick up a trailer, they grab the trailer and they go and do their business. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was like, she was like, I caught a few stores and we're trying to get the truck coming back. I'm not sure yet how this going to be. And she said, but we've decided that we want you to come in. We're going to refund you your money and we're going to give you the play set for free. I was like, well, all right, that's perfectly fine with me, you know, and so she was like, well, come on into the store, we'll refund your your money, and um, we're not only going to refund your money, we're going to deliver the place it to your house, and we're going to install it as well. I was like, I didn't expect that. I didn't. It was like, this has just been crazy. And we know this has been over a month for y'all. And (laughs) and so I was like, all right, family, get everybody together. We're all going together to Toys R Us because I want, I don't even know why. I was like, I want, I want everyone to see these two, these two beautiful twin girls. This is classic. And my wife and who you affected because they want their play set. This is a classic J move, by the way. Yes. This is something he would do. So If you had asked me who would do this, I would like, J. Jay, you damn right I would. Lay it on thick, damn it. So, <laughs> so we go down, we meet Laurel, uh, we meet Tar- Tara and some other folks. They refund our money and they said, okay, the play set should come in on Wednesday. Maybe we're gonna try to get it on Wednesday. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You know, it's it's free now, so I don't mind waiting. You know, because that was a nice piece of change, wasn't it? It was. It was a nice piece of change. So, I was like, mm, okay. So so I thought at any moment they were gonna say, "Psych." I know. I was like, <laughs> it is April first. I was waiting for somebody to pull one on me. I thought like J.K. and them put on like call the store and say hey guys I want y'all to mess with them because I want them to have a good show and I want them to have a story to tell on the show because JK he a prankster silly wankster <laughs> so so uh, go down Wednesday doesn't show up that's fine Friday um, so this past week was spring break here in Louisville mm. you know all the little villains <laughs> go on spring break yeah so on Friday, no, was it Friday or Saturday that I called? I want to say Friday, but it, it was Friday or Saturday I called, and um, I talked to um, Megan. I got a sneeze again, I think. But anyway, I never heard of Megan's name. I never talked to Megan or anything like that. Megan was like, "I have kept my hands out of out of this." <laughs> You know, <laughs> and because I was like, did it come in? And she was like, no, it didn't come in. Um, and I was like, well, do you think it'll be coming in on the next truck? You know, have you talked to Laurel or Tara? And she was like, I kept, I have pretty much kept my hands out of this whole thing. Oh, and, and she was, mm. I was like, mm. she might as well should have said, I kept my hands out of this mess or, 
or shit. This kept my hand out of this shit. You know, like it sounded like I like she didn't want like, to bother I didn't with us. Touch it. She was just like hot potato. It's you know? like, look, uh. if you work there, you better get all up in that shit, all up in it, because guess what? That's your job, right? right. I get all up in shit all the time because that's my job. So I was, I was so. like, you don't understand. I want to be like, you don't understand that you're representing babies are us slash toys are us, right? Right. It was like one of those things, but you know what? I left her alone. Um, until today when I called <laughs> because <laughs> Backfired everyone, on you Because everyone was in um, Was supposed to be back in town So I called today And, and Megan answers the phone Someone's like hello this is Megan um, How can I direct your call I was like hi Megan this is Jerry Valentine um, I'm not going to bother you Because I know you don't want your hand in this mess But uh, is one of the other managers there <laughs> Passive aggressive so passive aggressive Hell And she was like um, The only manager here is Josh And I was like oh this isn't Megan the other manager um, She was like no nah, that's another Megan And I was like Damn it my you passive- wasted your pa- your I'm- perfect passive aggressive line <laughs> That was almost hostile though I was like, that was verging on hostile no, that was wasn't. verging was on very, aggressive i was very calm when i said that was very less no but th- that was very less passive and very more aggressive if you would yeah that was I always, darn near I was calling her that name. was darn near aggressive but just saying but yeah you know poor whatever. megan i bet she was megan. like why is no nah, she, nah, she was chill she was like hey you know that's different megan you know she, she sounded like she understood <laughs> like hey so apparently, that ain't my deal so apparently megan megan manager must be must be mean i bet that we're like legend uh, we're gonna we're gonna get our picture taken <laughs> we're, they're gonna have they're gonna have our name on a plaque customers in the back. took six months to get their place at yeah <laughs> outstanding customer award you know <laughs> Oh, it's pretty bad. So, so anyway, so, so, so Hando said, "I know I'm all about first name now. I do. <laughs> I, I That's how much we've there, been. There, there, there's Tammy. She's the back of the house manager. There's <laughs> general store manager Tara. There is the HR manager Laurel, and then there's the shift manager Josh. Megan apparently is a shift manager too, who ain't worth a piece of shit if you ask me. Woo. And, then, and then apparently." They have someone that works the customer service desk named Megan as well, and I had to watch it. So I'm going to be like, customer service Megan or manager, shift manager You didn't Megan. talk to the one dude at the help at the information desk when we went to get your refund. You haven't talked to him on the phone yet. Um, he, Actually, he called. I couldn't catch his name. Mm. But when I called when I called back, uh, he answered the phone. So so I called back, and Josh was like, um, truck's supposed to be here tomorrow. Call tomorrow. Laura will be here. So it's one of those things. So, so I have faith that it'll be here tomorrow. You do? I think it'll be here tomorrow. I we will update everyone. But yeah, we'll, we'll have tomorrow. to update you everyone. Maybe maybe we just take a picture and be like, you know, I'm going to demand that you know what that they do not call Jeffrey Jeffrey anymore at Toys R Us. Because I'm Jeff. Nope, he's what? gonna be called Jerry or JJ. Gonna- they gonna rename. They him? gonna rename him after me, Jerry the Giraffe. Jerry the that Giraffe. That actually works. And they can. And they have to do it for G. I, I'll tell. I don't care if they do it for G because they have Jeffrey <laughs> for G. You know what I'm saying? And and JK's right. I, I want to meet Jeffrey. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I want Jeffrey when they come out and put it together. <laughs> I want it. someone dressed up in a Jeffrey suit, put it together, and I'm gonna videotape it because the girls would like to see Jeffrey. You know what I'm saying? I want balloons. I want a bounce house. I want a freaking party. When <laughs> I'm gonna I'm cook, I'm gonna cook them. I'm gonna barbecue for them when they come out and put it out. I'm gonna barbecue. I'm gonna have water for them. I'm gonna barbecue. I'm gonna put some hot dogs on. And I'm gonna be like, thank you guys. They're gonna be like, are you sure we should eat this? You sure you didn't poison this? You know, that's what they're gonna think. Like, no, I'm not sure, but so that's that's my ten minute wrap up of <laughs> the. The debacle, dude. That's what I'm saying. All right, so let's talk about this sister time. What 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 happened? So, uh, my sister came into town for Easter weekend. No, no it wasn't Easter weekend. Oh, it was it? It was the right. weekend after. Oh wow, I'm crazy. So she came in the weekend after just to say hi. She brought my wonderful nephew with her, and uh, 
us sisters rarely get time to be with each other. She lives in Atlanta. So, you know, usually like we go out to dinner, we go out to get coffee. This time we said, we're going to turn up and we're we going to go get drinks. And my sister and the, the teacher was like, well, I must be old because I would have been just fine getting some coffee from Starbucks. I was like, girl, me too. But I'm glad we did drink. So we went to... um one it was cold and i had on a hoodie it was freaking cold and i, I it's so funny i was just like dressed all casual to go get drinks uh-huh i was like, i was in a hoodie and jeans and a henley no, but anyway you, i thought you had on a nice but sweater I have on. you had a nice that oh. nice sweater i told you oh i said babe i said you might want to change change into something but it was fine the jeans were fine other other people were in right, right right it wasn't like us underdress but we went to this bar called eight up and it's at the top of a hotel downtown for one I hate that it's called eight up eight up like your face is eight up <laughs> the number eight it's on the eighth floor it, i don't even know if it's on the eighth floor it, it better be if it's called eight up <laughs> it better be it better be called but eight up. our down but this is an aside but our downtown in louisville is Pitiful. They have tried for about 20 years to build this downtown up so that people will be here after businesses close. But guess what? Businesses close, people don't come. So it, our downtown is not a nightlife downtown. Our downtown is a where you go to work and then you leave to go somewhere else. Anyway, so we went to 8 Up. This is, a, this is pretentious as hell. So went up there. I was giving the place the side eye a little bit sat down finally managed to get somebody oh they have like couches and, and you know it's that kind of it's like a loungy kind of bar right right so we sat down in these i, I sat in a red patent leather chair mm. but um so i looked at the menu first thing i saw six dollar french fries oh boy mm, 19 dollar fish tacos and that's not even an entree that's just an appetizer mm, you get mm, like mm, mm. two tacos for like 19 bucks i was like ooh, crazy hummus for like 15 dollars so uh open I, I looked at the drinks they have a 22 dollar drink on there i was like y'all are crazy uh so i got a they didn't have Midori, which made me sad. Nobody ever has freaking Midori. I know it's not the most, you know, common liquor. If a bar worth their salt is worth their salt, they will. They have freaking Midori. They don't have Midori. For those of you who don't know anything about Midori, it's green and it tastes amazing. It's a melon liqueur. Anyway, so I went. I didn't want a margarita at the time, so I went to my second, my second choice, which was an amaretto sour. And I don't know. My sister's got a. Um, Deidre got a, a, a mojito and the twins got nice. sparkling berries it has champagne in it and it had actual berries in it but <laughs> I, I didn't know where I was like mm, y'all crazy so get the drinks the drinks all tasted a little funny it's weird the twins drink tasted a little bit like cough syrup and my drink tasted a little off from an emerald cider it wasn't bad but it was just weird. And it was foamy. It was like an inch of foam on the top of my... Mm. I mean, I know you shake it. But do you really just shake it so much as an inch of foam? But anyway, it was all right. It and all right. my drink ended up being $10 for Emerita Sour. Look, I know this is not the age of where you can get a drink for $4 at the club. But $10 for Emerita Sour was a bit, a bit steep. So we were like, eh. And so... But the point of sister time was to spend time with the sisters, which we did. It was fun. It was awesome. And then, I don't know. I think one of the twins were like, no, oh, Kim. Kim was like, we could go to another bar. I was like, oh, my God. If we go to another bar, technically, we're bar hopping. What? Am I 25 again? What? what? So uh, we left. Oh, well, first, let me tell you about the restroom situation at 8 Up. 8 Up? Was was the restroom 8 Up? It was opposite. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Did I tell you about the restrooms? No. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to tell you this. So I had to go to the bathroom. So Kim told me where they were. I went. 
all the bathrooms are individual. Okay. And so it's like a so it's like a hallway, mm-hmm. and there are all these bathrooms, and most of them are unisex bathrooms. Some are just men, like one is just a woman. I'm assuming that the just men one just had a urinal. Even but a but a woman can use a urinal too. But anyway, that's beside the point. I was like, well, this is weird because it's just it's just a weird setup. So I go into one of the unisex ones, right? Open the door, close the door, lock it. A red light comes down on at my feet. They have like a light that goes from like maybe a foot outside of the door to a foot inside of the door. Oh, let people know you're in there. Let people know you're in there. So, okay. so and, and it's kind of dark. It's darkish. Right. Like a bar. Yeah. So I was like, all right. <laughs> and so, you know, did my business and everything. Went to wash my hands. The mirror is tilted you know toward me like this right, i was like right. why is it so i pushed it and it moves so i'm like why would you like but it moves back to being tilted it was so weird so i was looking at myself and it was like i was looking it was a good selfie right. angle i dude, i kid you not i bet you that's what it is to take pictures in the bathroom i kid you not but anyway okay it was so weird so anyway so we left ate up um ate up I was, I didn't think I was feeling the drink, but I'm pretty sure I was because then we went to Galaxy Bar, which is a cute, tiny little bar on Main Street in Nulu. And it was so cute. And we walked in there, it's, and music was bumping, and the lights were going, and I was, we were just chilling out. And then we, we went to the counter to order drinks because course i'm gonna get another drink and i'll tell you how i know i was feeling the emerald sour because of what i ordered i ordered a margarita i ordered tacos and i ordered guacamole and i had had a huge dinner like not five hours before so um got my margarita it was amazing sucked that bad boy down in like a minute and um I tell you what, after being drunk with a margarita, it makes your food taste the best. So my tacos, I can't, it was a mushroom taco. It was so good. And their guacamole was guacamole. Oh, it was so good. But um, drunk Renee is crazy, Renee. Yep. Yeah. Um, drunk Renee loves to dance. And uh, we actually, oh, let me tell you what we did on the way there. All right. We were listening to the radio and Mary J. Blige was on okay. the get it crunk up in this dancery kind okay. of thing. So I was like, I was like, what the hell is a dancery? And I was like, so we looked it up on Urban Dictionary, uh-huh. right? Just to, I wanted to know if dancery was a thing. So looked it up. Let me tell you what it says. And we were cracking up. This is any establishment in which music is played and dancing is likely to occur, such as a bar, nightclub, or strip joint. I was like, cool. Then it says, the word dancery is often used in conjunction with hateration or holleration. All right. Each of these three words were introduced by Major Blige in the song. Da, da, da. So, uh, popular lexicon extends the word's uses to include general locations like home, work, favorite hangout. And Urban Dictionary gives examples of the word. Okay. Maybe I was drunk. Let's see if they're not funny anymore. Let's see. It's getting really crowded in this dancery. Does that dancery have a cover? I don't like that dancery. There's too much holleration. Uh, so, yeah, I was, I was feeling buzzed because it's not as funny now. I didn't get to leave this dancery until 5.30. But anyway, uh, so I thought that was hilarious. But it's not as hilarious now because I'm not drinking. So it was fun. I had a great time with Sister Time. I'm very, very going to try to do this more often. And I felt a little young. But then I felt old because I came home and I crashed into bed. And um, I didn't even say anything funny. I just went right to sleep, didn't I, babe? No, you didn't. You were. You came oh, in. I did, I did you were loud. You were, <laughs> you were like <laughs> heavy walking around. Bam, 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 bam. Renee was like... Uh. You know how much those fish tacos oh, were? I was yelling at him from the front. Nineteen dollars. <laughs> Nineteen dollars. <laughs> and he was like, the hummus. The hummus, Jay. The hummus was nine dollars. <laughs> and I said, I said, babe, I was like, we paid five dollars for hummus at Costco. 
You know damn well that that hummus they give us at at Costco is about three times more. So, so yeah, there so you I, go. So I slip into my country accent when I'm when I'm drunk. I, I don't know if it was you. Just laughed. That's all. It, was. it wasn't. It wasn't country. <laughs> I said something to you when I was all laying I know, in bed. Well, too. I, I can't say what you said to me because. Oh. You had some stuff going on that you probably don't want people to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you went up to yeah. the front. Yeah. And you were yelling from the from the bathroom to the back. <laughs> and I was like, damn, this this shit crazy. JK said that your impression is cracking me up. It is accurate. That's pretty much how you know, I sound when I'm drunk. I'm pretty much. Yeah. So so today, Miss um, Maya had her cardiologist visit. Um, so she has now been cleared. Um, everything looks good from the heart surgery she had back um, in June um, just in time to get her ready for her next surgery <sighs> poor thing she's trying to catch two up two surgeries in two years she's trying to catch up with me um, on surgery so so she's going to have uh, a lesion removed next Friday not this coming Friday on next Friday um, they don't know yet it's navis sebaceous. Navis sebaceous. Navis sebaceous. Technically a tumor. A, she has a tumor. She has a tumor. Right here, and they're going to remove that and send it off to find out if it is uh, cancerous. It, so. it is minor surgery. Yep. And it is outpatient, and she'll be back to normal within a couple of days. Yep. So. So they're gonna they're gonna cut it out and they're gonna pull the skin together and hopefully they can get it all done in one shot, not no two surgery thing. Because I'm just ready for it to be over. You know, ready for it to be over. Just be yep. done. Just be done. Definitely. So, yeah. So, that's what's going on. So, yeah, that was uh, a, a nice wrap up of what we had going on this weekend. So, <laughs> what well, this past couple of weeks. So, let's go ahead and jump into some tech. Tech, 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 technology. Who gets the free upgrades, babe? We, we get, get the, the free, free upgrades. You didn't tell me about this. Who gets the free upgrades, babe? We get the free upgrades, babe. So, here in about three more days, Renee and Jay should be sporting 350, 300 meg down what? and like 20 meg up from Time Warner Cable. You know why? Because Google's coming to town. So, wow. so they're trying to hurry up and upgrade everyone. So I had to go is pick up. Is it a up, contract? No, I had to go pick up our new modem, that's, which is right there. Mm-hmm. Um, and everything from Tom Warner Cable so we can get our 300 meg down and 20 meg up. So absolutely, absolutely excited about that. Um, so also in tech, um, a little while back, well, actually almost two years ago, I was going, you guys remember I was going to start a little project with called TravelingCup.com? Well, I was contacted about that domain. <laughs> and someone wanted to buy my Traveling Cup domain. So this was the first time that I've actually been contacted by someone to sell a domain. And um, it's a, it is a coffee truck or food truck slash coffee truck. That is in Mesa, Arizona, um, called the Traveling Cup, and they wanted the website so that they can, um, you know, promote their business. It's a father-daughter, um, 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 what's it called? Venture. Or they told you that? Huh? Or they told you that? Well, you know what? I'm actually I <laughs> went to their Facebook page. You know, I I vetted it all out okay. before, um, before before anything. So, um. So yeah, um, I, I sold my domain. We're getting stuff switched over this weekend, and hopefully they'll get everything taken care of. And if you live in Mesa, Arizona, check them out. I think that Mesa, Phoenix, all in that same area. And yes, Hando, we got Google here in. Well, we're not. We don't have Google yet. They're working on getting Google here in Louisville before they're going to Boston. So you know what I'm saying? That just means you probably <laughs> should just come on and and move down this way. You know, everybody should just because this, way. this is where it's happening, and, and and I'll tell you in just a second why it's happening here. You will. Media, it's happening. movies, books, comics, TV. Sorry, I was doing my segue. 
What what's happening here? Oh, that's oh damn it! I you forgot that was totally ruined it. U of L, it's happening here. Uh, that was U of L's slogan while still, I was there, and it's still and their slogan. It's still their slogan. Yes, they needed to change it. It was terrible because you can say anything is happening here, and it it was really bad. Yeah. But anyway, so. so what's happening here? On, I think it's May fifth. I am verifying. But we're mm. having a tadpool meetup. It's not May 5th. Maybe yeah. this is a Thursday. We're, oh, it is? We're May having 7th. A, we are having a tadpool meetup. So, On May 7th. Um, it is Saturday, May 7th, 215. Um, we are going to be in Nikki and Mu, I mean, um, um, Zabi and Muhogan are going to be in town. And we are doing... Uh, it's not a Captain America movie. It's an Iron Man movie. Who said that? <laughs> no, I was, I was playing with Nikki. It is actually, um, what? oh man, I forgot. Oh, was it Civil War? Civil War. Marvel yeah. Civil War. So it's Cap against Iron Man. Yeah. For, for the most part. That's, that's what the previews would have you believe. It's mostly them going head to head. Yeah. So it's actually, it is Captain America. It's Captain America Civil War, so... <laughs> I, 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 I'm not a, I'm not a huge, uh, I'm not, I'm not like Team Cap. I am. What? I am, I'm Team Iron Man. Come on, man. Gotta follow. Apparently, Black Panther is too. And oh, why we talking about that? We hand me that over there, babe. The comics. So I went and picked these up today. Um, for those that may follow the comics and stuff like that, um, you know, I had canceled my my list. But I did have to go pick up the number one variant for Black Panther. I think that's going to be backwards. But that's the um, that's the Steve Young cover there. And then I also got the hip hop cover of Black Panther as well. And I got the design cover of Black Panther as well. So not only is um, the seventh black panther not captain america civil war day it is also derby day kentucky derby and it is also free comic book day and we have a plethora of comic book stores here in town so so if you're within driving distance of the louisville area might not suggest you come down to check us out and have some fun with us spend some time it'll be um, fun I'm actually thinking about um, I may be barbecuing. Um, I got to talk with some folks. So, yeah, it'll be it will be great for you all to come down. Um, maybe that'll give me motivation to clean up. So, if well, you did barbecue, no, you crazy. <laughs> oh, JK's coming in town because that's his birthday weekend. Oh, cool. So you coming in town, JK? Come on in. Come in town, man. We want to see you. All right. So what next, babe? Oh, so uh, we watched the conclusion of The Walking Dead. We both agreed it was apparently, but we are the minority among our friends. Mm -hmm. Most of them thought it was amazing. And you know what? It's fine. I'm going to watch it still. But I was just left feeling I was wanting you were wanting and I shouldn't be left feeling you know that wanting feeling when this show ends so they they just there were a lot of missed opportunities and uh, but anyway so it was okay but everyone knows when The Walking Dead is over what comes on now Fear, fear the, walk- the Walking Dead. I don't. Fear the Walking the Dead. I don't fear the Walking Dead. Fear, I r- fear the Walking Dead. It's fear the Walking Dead. I roll my eyes at the Walking Dead. Okay, so I had forgotten last season of the Walking Dead. We just let them. We ended up letting them pile up because other things were more interesting, and I forgot. And I realized after watching the first episode, this is why I let them pile up. They are the stupidest people on the face of the earth I don't care what comes along no one's gonna be that idiotic uh so I was like I could have used my hour to watch something else so for right now free to walking dead I'm not worried about you right now I got I got more important things to watch 
Like, I don't know. Sesame Street. But <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, uh, so yeah, Fear of the Walking Dead. I just... No. Actually, we said we were done. We were talking about being done. Um, and then we changed, right? Yeah, we were talking about being done. Yeah, I was I was going to be like, I don't care what happens to those dumb people. I, I hope they all get their face ate off. Right. And so then we were like, you know what? Let's, let's step back. Let's think about it. And then, you know, if time frees up and stuff like that, then we can, you know... Well, there's nothing else to watch then we can go ahead and, and maybe watch it so that's kind of what we were thinking and stuff like that so we'll see we'll definitely see how it goes and everything so you know blah so what you been reading <sighs> i finished my uh the uh, my my alloy of law book moved on to the next book the big old honking hardback hardback that jay said he was felt bad giving me but i love it it is the shadows of self the second in the Wax and Wayne uh, series. Nice. And it's really good. I'm only, you know, about a quarter through it. I don't I, I don't get to read as much as I used to, but... Um, but when she does... <laughs> watch out! It is on. Um, but it's really good. I'm really enjoying it, and I feel like... I'm like, I have one more book after this, so it's like I am rolling around in Mistborn novels, like, on a bed. With tons of that's that's how I feel, even though it's only three. But I feel, I, I feel surrounded by Mistborn. It makes me feel so good. So I love this series. It's one of my favorites. Uh, so yeah, and um, it still has the good old uh, metal manipulation, magic-y stuff. I think you'd like it, Jay. I really think you would. Is it like anyway. is it like Full Alchemist or whatever? Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. I don't know. I've never really seen it. Or the, you never read it. There's alchemy. Okay. In there, so. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah. Well, I ha- I haven't read it or watched. It. Okay. So, uh, mm. so did that. So, what have you been doing with yourself so, while I've been doing other things? So, um, I, a buddy of mine has sold me a, a X Wing um, starter kit, you know, and so I kind of been since the last time we had the show. There's this thing called Adepticon, Adepticon that has showed up, that start, had happened, and we were hoping to go there in Chicago. So basically, I have started playing X-Wing, which is uh, um, absolutely fun. I actually like it. The um, reason I actually like it is because um, I get to, uh, don't have to play any miniatures. I can sit down, I can play a quick game of X-Wing, you know, within an hour and be done, and and that's really nice. So not only um, am I playing um, that, I am also playing. Um, hold on for a second here because I got I got things updating. Stop. I got the uh, I have the World of Warcraft Legion beta um, updating, and I don't want this to. Oh, okay, it's done. Okay, all right, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, um, I probably should have shut that down. <laughs> um, and I've also started not only X Wing. Um, I have um, JF and Amy were in at Adepticon, and I knew the folks that did Guild Ball, which is Steam Four Games. Mm-hmm. Um, they had a lot of their season two stuff up there, so I asked them to get me um, a Guild Ball starter for the Brewers, um, which are, they are pretty doggone cool looking guys. Um, this is it's this um it's like a football game, but they're guilds that are playing against each other, like the Masons, the fishermen, the alchemists, the engineers, the brewers. The brewers are the people that brew beer. And they are the closest ones to me that look like dwarves. And so I'm like, I love these guys. Um, but I also like the Masons too. So I think, you know, at, when I get my brewers done, I may pick up a Mason team and maybe play the masons who knows but then i'm like you know mason work beer it's like hmm put them together the perfect dwarf right there so start playing um hopefully i'll get again um hopefully i'll be able to play wednesday who knows i don't know yet um and then like i said x-wing and also today we found out that cold play is coming to town in july and I may want to check them out. 
I don't know yet. We're already doing one big concert this week, um, this this year, and you know we're going to do those like every two years. Or so, so we shall see how that goes. But yeah, man, that that's all of our movies and 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 everything. That's and, what we've been up and, to. And I know that uh, Diddy's asking to have I played Rocket League. I haven't played Rocket League in a while. I've been playing a lot of uh, Overwatch though. And I just got an invite to Battleborn, which is um, Gearbox's, I think it's their version of Overwatch. So I'll probably be loading that up tonight and trying it out because that was one of the games I was thinking about buying also. So with that, Renee, let's get to some... The fridge is not prepared! Uh, Oh, do you give your update? let's talk about some food. Do it, do it, do it, do so, um, talking about a little food here. I, uh, so my workout routine, um, you know, I was doing a lot of cardio, doing circuit training. Then I went, did more circuit training, a little cardio. Then I went, um, from that to doing free weights to and cardio. So now I'm doing, I was doing, um, um, heavy, um, heavy weights with low reps and cardio and now i am now doing lower weights with more reps with cardio Mm -hmm. so i've been feeling the difference in my arms and my chest back you know all over my whole body i've been feeling different i mean it's been really weird because you know i never lift i was never a weight lifter or i never really worked out to that extent of you know lifting weights and stuff not bench pressing and all none of that stuff i didn't do any of that that just wasn't my thing but it's really weird you know now feeling feeling my arms and it's, feeling and feeling my chest it's really weird he's still doing this because it's, it's like it's like i sit here <laughs> and i have my arm i have my forearm going across my body and if i tighten you know you, you everyone knows how you do it you flex the muscle right there mm-hmm. and it's like Man, I didn't know I had that. You know what I'm saying? It's just you're crazy. It, it's just really weird. It's really weird. It's really weird that you can feel your muscles like that, man. That's like when I would like <laughs> grab Steve's arm or something like that. Like grab Steve or grab somebody else's arm that usually is working out. You know what I'm saying? So it's really weird. It's like like when you go shake somebody's hand and you. You know, you pat him on the arm on the other side. It's kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, men, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Yeah. God. <laughs> but nah. So it's really weird. Yeah. And so saying that, um, I was losing inches and the scale wasn't moving. I was kind of like, eh, you know what? Screw it. <coughs> I'm not gonna look at the scale anymore because I'm my my stuff is shifting around. But then I stepped on the scale this morning because it was Monday, of course, and I'm at officially past eighty pounds. I'm I'm Yay. down eighty one pounds now. So how I'm, about that? Yeah, Boom. it feels good. And I am almost back into my clothes from when I previously lost weight. So I'm almost into my clothes that I bought from Walmart. So <laughs> I'm absolutely happy about that. So what about you, babe? Uh, yeah. So you know, I've been i have relaxed a little bit on uh you know basically not eating anything i'm not supposed to and because of this you know it shows i i did lose i'm back down to where i was like three weeks ago before my three week of binge of eating and drinking and whatever Uh i mean i didn't gain that much but it took a long time to get it off but you know i'm not too worried about it i'm almost out of my goal weight so i'm cool with it um work out six days a week i feel weird if i don't now it's like jay always asks me are you gonna go work out i'm like yeah (laughs) have i have i said no i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna work out even though there was one time you was like oh no you said i'm gonna get my body a rest is what you said oh, yeah, yeah. you did say that once yeah. so i know to get my body a rest when i need right to. so i'm at least going five days a week um which is great for me i went from no days to five days and it, it's it's kind of cool um so i'm i'm doing that oh i'm sorry did i intro on your oh well i wasn't done oh okay yeah sorry about that go ahead babe 
I just told All right. you, I, I renayed you. Anyway. I mamaed you. So, uh, so everything's good on there, you know. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm liking the way it looks. So that's good. People want to like what they see in the mirror, but I like what here, I see in the mirror. Thanks, but the, the here comes the point when people start making comments about my weight, such as "Don't lose anymore, skinny mini," "Don't go overboard," etc., etc. What do you say when someone calls you, hey, skinny mini? Is that a compliment or are they saying you too? Like, I don't I, I, I don't know how to respond to that. All right. So parents. How would you respond to parents? Tell your kids hey, to cover mini. their ears like right now. <laughs> three, two, one. The way I would respond to someone that says, hey, skinny mini. I'm like, fuck off. I'm not going to say that to somebody at work. Who? So guy, someone, guy, girl. It was a girl. Yeah, she throwing she's throwing shade. I'd be like, really? I was like, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, I'll be like, are we body shaming now? I mean, but you can't necessarily call that because guess what? Newsflash: I'm not skinny by any stretch of the imagination. So I don't know. So you know this person more than I would. So that's you know. I don't know, but what but would you think? This happened last time when I lost weight. People, especially when we went to visit family. Like extended family, you better not lose anymore. You don't need to lose anymore. Like I almost got the impression like I lost too much according to them. But I'm like, okay, parents, cover your print three, two, one. Fuck all y'all. Okay, the only person that matters is me in this. In the, and if I'm healthy, no matter what none of y'all think. So shut up. And I'm sure Jay is gonna make sure I don't do anything unhealthy. Yeah. I mean, and I'm not. I mean, geez, I would have to lose like another twenty pounds before I even gets to maybe being a problem i don't know i i mean i i, I mean i don't i don't know why i mean so you can, you can let your kids listen now parents so. <laughs> sorry i just had to get that so, out. so i mean i don't know i don't know uh-huh. why people feel the need um i mean it, it is what it is i mean you know yeah <sighs> but anyway i'm done that now now after after my rant you may continue oh sure like um basically what i was saying was that you know i'm going like five days a week now so i at least go five days sometimes i go six i don't i'm not at the point where i feel like i need to do seven but i know five is fine you know and that kind of works out so sometimes i can go like monday through friday and then i had a weekend free which is pretty doggone cool but then sometimes i have to do a, a, a weekend a day on the um, weekend which is fine okay if i skip like a friday or something so like this week I, i'm gonna probably have to go um you know on the weekend for sure because i missed today because i went to the office so so yeah um renee's been cooking up a storm um food has been great you know um today was weird i was really really late i was really um lazy about cooking lunch <laughs> I mean, make, taking lunch, and so I just took three. I took three pre- Premier Protein drinks, and I only had two of them. I had one at eleven, and another one at around one thirty-two, um, just to get me to dinner. And then I had my egg muffin. And not only that, since the last time we had the show, I picked up a dehydrator. Oh, this so, is true. Uh, I have made two batches of jerky. And I have also made fruit, they call it fruit leather, which is just fruit roll-ups for the girls, but I have had a taste because they're pretty damn good. So let me just uh, just tell you all, um, if you make jerky, please email me your um, recipes for jerky. I'm looking for more recipes for jerky. Um, you can send it to the Valentinecast at gmail.com or Jerry J at gmail.com. I wonder if I should have said that. Sure. Too, well, it's too too out there now. now. It's anyway, out there forever. Because that's how it works. But anyway, so yeah, that's what's been going on. Is that it for you, babe? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I hope I don't get burned out on the cooking thing. I'm, you know. Are you feeling it? No, I'm not. Okay, but I, but I, I'm just worried one day it's going to be like, bam. I'm done. I'm done. I'm like okay. Reading McDonald's every day. Bring it off the grill. <laughs> we're gonna have. We're gonna eat chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans for. But I mean, I have things that I want to try, and you know, I try to find ways to lower sugar, yep. raise protein. Yep. 
I appreciate Jay it. Jay said carbs don't matter, but I also try to ignore carbs. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, that's all I got. Let's hear from Mr. Feisty, who may be at the Captain American Civil War. What? <laughs> Oh man, it's the birthday time. Happy so t- birthday, everybody! All right, bye. No. So tomorrow we have for birthday is Mr. Jeppy. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Jeppy! And not only tomorrow we have <laughs> Darling Cole is tomorrow. Woo! Uh, on Friday, Sheree, her birthday is on Friday. You uh-huh. know Sheree. Or you friend. know of Sheree. Your friend? Kim's friend, Sheree. Oh, okay. Yeah. Happy birthday, Sheree. Happy uh, birthday. Who we have on Friday? Carrie Fowles' birthday is on Friday. You know how I said his name, did you? I did. <laughs> how else do you say Carrie Fowles? On Saturday, <laughs> we have Christopher Real. And on the 18th, uh, my fellow twin mom, Lori Davis. Her birthday is, uh, and she just had twins, so yay! On the 19th, we have Carolyn. Her birthday is on the 19th. Happy birthday from the Tadpool. And then Corlatham, his birthday is uh, on the 20th. That's a 420. Corey. Everybody know what 420 is. Yep. That's that day. <laughs> Mr. Brian Dinsley, your birthday is on the 21st. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And on the 22nd, Jessica Immel, her birthday yep. is there. And... Nicole Spag, her birthday is on the 23rd. Happy birthday, Spagnolo. And actually on the 14th, my oldest birthday, she will be 19 years old. Whoa. She's doing great. So proud of her. She's wrapping up her first year of college, and she's doing great. So if you guys want to email me uh, a podcast, I'm not a podcast, but a, a, what's it called? A recipe for... Yeah. For uh, jerky, feel free to email me um, at the at the ValentineCast at gmail.com. You can see our blog, ValentineCast.com. Podcast Twitter feed is also ValentineCast. Where's our Facebook page, babe? Facebook page is facebook.com slash ValentineCast. Video of this and previous episodes can be seen at youtube.com slash ValentineCast. Jay's Twitter feed is the Cowboy. That's T H E C A O B O I. And my Twitter feed is the Ice Flow. What is going on, Aaron? Who's hanging out in the chat realm? I need to combine oh, these. Oh, sorry. Yep, Aaron's here. I think I'm going to. So, everyone, I need to put up a post about where you can join the chat room because you can actually there's I, I wish get, you could like pin a post I want to get I want to get away from thin stack you know what I could put a note here at thin stack and we can go to chat room everybody can go to chat room yeah because that's the one that's plugged into the page and that's the one that I really would like everyone to start using because it's all plugged in mm-hmm. and it's nice Ty's done a great job at Alpha Geek Radio, and I want to acknowledge that um, as well. So, sorry, Aaron. It seemed like you were by yourself. Everyone in the Valen Tavern on Thin Thin Stack, say what's up to Aaron. That's on the chat room, sir. Server, what's going on, Aaron? Um, so I'm gonna get everyone pulled over. I'll put a message of the day <clears throat> there. So, um, we'll see you in two weeks. Um, we'll talk to you later and you all have a great great two weeks bye now bye everybody
This is Alpha Geek Radio. All right, everyone. Um, before you in the Valen Tavern, hold tight. Um, before you leave, let me give you all this link here, please. Um, give me a second. Oh, uh, because I, I, I want to start trying to get nervous. I have been doing a horrible job about doing that. So, um, let's see here. I made a tweet. So Renee made it to Valentine Cast Live. Um, uh, man. Let's see. Where where is JJ? Let's see here. Copy link address. All right. So here. Damn it. Let me get the actual. All right. So you can go to Valentine Cast Live. I need to change Valentine Cast Live to point to Alpha Geek server so there is that if you can start using that that would be great and on the chat room so people that listen to frog pants it's the same server that the tad pool is in the frog pants in just do a join the valent you know pound valentine cast pound valentine cast bang 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 <laughs> so just <laughs> Head over there. Um, 